I'm WSA 9 Weather Watch Meteorologist Topper Shutt. We are tracking Fiona approaching a Bermuda still as a, uh, a category uh, four storm winds 130. When we say the winds are 130, that's sustained winds. Gusts are to 160. <laughs> Um, it's moving off to the uh, north northeast at 16. It's about 340 miles uh, from uh, Bermuda. Now, as we roll through overnight, it gets pretty close to Bermuda around midnight on Friday. Good news is Hurricane Center weakens it to a category three. The other good news is it's pretty far west. It tracks pretty far west. Now, that said, tropical storm force winds extend out from the center up about 200 miles. So certainly Bermuda is going to have some tropical storm force winds and they are under hurricane warning uh, at this hour. Then it moves back to the north and then almost due north. And look at this by Saturday morning. Still a category three with with winds, uh, you know, as much as 120 miles per hour as it moves into Nova Scotia, just to the west of uh, St. John's. And even as it becomes a cold core storm, it could still pack hurricane winds until Saturday night at nine o'clock. That is um, that's kind of crazy. That's going to cause some problems in some of the Canadian Maritimes, no doubt. OK, so there is the hurricane warning for Bermuda and we'll pan up to the north. And now we have hurricane watches and tropical storm watches in effect for much of, uh, of Canada. And uh, that includes New Brunswick, parts of Nova Scotia uh, as we get into the weekend. All right. Now let's talk about the other storm we talked about yesterday. This could become Hermine, and here is a spaghetti plot of Hermine and a couple things to notice yeah, as usual, you know, pretty close to development and 24 hours out. They're all compact, so they're pretty in, pretty much in agreement confluence. But then, you know, you get out to four or five days or seven days and, you know, one model has it going east of Miami. Another model has it going over Cancun. That's a pretty big difference. So takeaway here is we're pretty confident Hermine is going to develop and probably become a pretty strong hurricane. What we don't know just yet is exactly the path uh, uh, of the storm. So here are the models. So the red is European and the uh, yellow is the American GFS. And already you see by Monday, they're not that close. OK, the Europeans taking it over Canada as it begins to pull it back to the north and the east. The GFS is taking it kind of in between Cancun and Cuba and bring it in the Gulf of Mexico. This is now Tuesday. Now it's moving almost due north. This is now moving across southern uh, Florida. And we move it again into Wednesday. So now European says, OK, now it's back in the Atlantic and it should go out to sea. But no, uh, GFS says not at all. This is going to be a pretty big storm. And look what happens. We get into, say, Thursday, it drifts it off to the north and the east. And in the meantime, European does take the storm offshore. Will cause some big currents uh, for us if it takes the European track. And then we get into, uh, you know, uh, Thursday night, still a big storm in the Gulf of Mexico, but hasn't made landfall yet. Just kind of sit and spinning uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. So those are wildly different <laughs> uh, you know, approaches to this storm. So we will certainly watch it. But again, the takeaway is looks like it's going to develop. Looks, looks like it's going to become a pretty big storm. The details are in the track and this also details are in what effect it could have on us. If it takes this track, it could have an effect on us, either either in uh, severe weather or just plain old rain. If it takes the European track, we're going to be dry. Just some rough surf at the beach. That's it. OK, so we are looking at a category four storm for uh, Fiona right now. Winds are 130. Category four is 130 to 156. That is the, uh, the criterion. Now, names. So we haven't hit Hermine yet, but we could. Alex, Bonnie, Colin, all tropical storms. Danielle, Cat 1, Earl, Cat 2, Fiona, already uh, a Cat uh, 3, a Cat 4, rather, and Gaston only was a Cat uh, 1 as well. So we'll watch and see if we don't have Hermine in the next 48 hours or so. Again, here's the forecast. I mean, you know, 14 to 20 named storms of those 6 to 10 become hurricanes. Of those, 3 to 5 become major hurricanes with winds 111 or higher. We've got a ways to go. I mean, Fiona's our first uh, major hurricane uh, of the uh, of the uh, season already. Now, yes, we are in the kind of the teeth of the uh, season, if you will. Not much happens June, July, August. OK, 29 percent, September, 36 percent, October. You know, we still have some activity, but only 19 percent uh, develop in October. So uh, takeaways now, Fiona will affect Bermuda late tonight, early, early Friday morning, pre dawn hours. Another takeaway is we're going to be tracking a storm in the Gulf of Mexico late in the weekend or early next week, and she will be called Hermine.